What is it, YouTube? Back again in another video. In today's video, man, we're finally going to be talking about BO6. Um, after all of the last couple episodes, we've been mainly just focused on the storyline. But now that the story's finally beat, and I've been playing um, zombies and multiplayer for, well, since the 24th, um, give or take. So realistically, I've been playing full time when this game is multiplayer and, uh, and zombies since realistically the 25th, since I spent most of the 24th recording those videos for you guys. But. We're going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly about Black Ops 6. In my personal opinion, as of the pre-seasonal year of Black Ops 6. So, obviously, I'm going to do one of these videos. I think I'm going to try to do one of these every single season. Um, either at the end or maybe halfway through. Um, and kind of just go over things that are good, negative, kind of whatever about the seasons and the game at that current moment in time. So, right now, we're going to do it for the preseason, and I have a lot to say. So let's go over kind of my stats right now so everyone kind of has an idea of how much I've actually played the game. Because um, I've played quite a bit. I've put almost 70 hours in the game. I think I was at like 2650 or something, 2640 for hours on my COD HQ app. I am now sitting at 2700 hours on the COD HQ app. So I think it's about, about 50 hours or so. I think about a day in mul uh, zombies and about a couple hours in uh, multiplayer total so without further ado let's hop into it so right off the bat my level currently i am sitting at prestige 2 level 1 i just hit prestige 2 today on stream um actually speaking of the stream i will be probably live from at the time of this either being uploaded or um at the time of me re after recording this, I'm not sure if I'm going to start recording exactly. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this exactly after recording. But um, depending on whether or not I do that, I should be live at the time of this being uploaded. Um, but let's kind of go over the prestige since we're sitting here. So I really like the class of prestige system. I think that it's much was much needed in the in the COD, COD scene again, right? I, I think that it was a must-have. Um, and I'm making a separate video going over all the rewards, talking about which ones I like, which ones I don't like, which ones I think are kind of dumb that we got. But um, there's 10 prestiges, and then after the 10th prestige, you hit max prestige, and then you will be um, have access to 1,000 levels. And then once you're past 1,000 levels, um, you actually can get, um, if you go over here, we can go to, um, I think it's profile, yep, here we go, and we're going to see prestige master icons. You can see that um, for every 100 levels, you get access to a new prestige icon from a past Call of Duty. So you have COD 4 all the way up until Black Ops 6. So you have like uh, Modern for 3, Modern for 2, Vanguard, World War 2, Black Ops 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, World of War, etc. And then we have Prestige 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and Master Prestige level 1000. You have access to all of the prestige icons throughout i think it is all yeah all of the call of duties because we even have all the infinite warfare ones which your boy might rock um infinite warfare world war ii who knows we'll have to wait and see um but uh you have access to all the prestige icons um even the prestige 10 icon for cold war and the prestige uh master icon for black Ops 4 um we got all the vanguards uh all the monitor twos and monitor for threes um I don't know if these will be animated for because like some of the model for three and two ones from the last two years have been kind of animated towards the uh, end of their life cycles or like the, the max level one is always animated for them. So I'm not sure if they'll be animated or not for the icons, but here in the menu, they're not. So that's really cool. I think it's awesome that they did that. Um, some other things that are really dope that I really did like about the overall game is uh, the mastery badges i think the mastery badges were a smart feature um because they're not hard to get but they are something that gives you xp and something to look forward to and grind towards which i think is a great great feature now the other things other than the badges that i think are really um that i think they've really done a good job of improving on is just the overall showcase and what i mean by this if we go here to the social we'll go to my name here so you guys can see so you can see your level now your prestige obviously and then you also see the mastery badges but it'll so for right now it won't because i'm i've interacted with it but normally what will happen is it will auto rotate so it'll show it'll auto rotate your uh hauling charge showcase and then to your operator and then your weapon now i will say the weapon situation right now is 
um, interesting when it comes to showcase because it doesn't when sometimes you select the showcase operator and showcase gun for some reason it likes to auto select those as your current items you're using which is kind of annoying so I hope that is a like a visual bug that gets fixed but nonetheless that's how it in, internally works so they did a great job with the showcase just really feels a lot smoother now um, some other things that are really good about at least the zombie side of things is uh, Intel has been revamped so now Intel isn't Tom um, have so many eye options and what I mean by that is like in, if you remember Cold War Cold War had like over like a hundred Intel per map and it was just awful um, because a lot of the and I think there you could also get the Intel multiple times so even if you got that intel it would still be on the, the map sitting so like sometimes you think you get a new intel but you actually wouldn't um that's all been revamped now there is very little intel per map um and the intel that is here is important it's not useless intel and the um audio logs and documents and all that stuff are one spawn time so once they spawn they're spawned i believe like here you can go back in and listen to all the audio logs and stuff um if you want but it's not mandatory, um, so that's, I think, a really, really nice feature overall. Um, some of the other things, the master calling cards, the calling cards in general have been really, really good so far. Um, you can see that I've been really playing Zombies hard. Um, I haven't really played all that much multiplayer for you because of multiplayer challenges. I haven't even barely touched them. Um, but um, I really like the, uh, the calling cards this year. I think they, they really cooked with the what they look like. The only thing I really don't like is when you're going back out of a menu. I don't know why for me it's like auto sending me back all the way to the front. I don't know why it's doing that, but you know, it may not be doing that for other people. I just know for me, unfortunately it is. Um, augments are amazing. The, um, my personal thing with the augments is how much they actually help. I was really worried that the augments were going to be useless or too hard to grind for or take too long to get. Um, before launch uh and i think i've also was a little scared they were going to be too broken but i think right now as it is they're actually really really strong but not nearly as strong as i thought or they could have been uh which i think is really good they're they all they're not useless and they're not overpowered they're kind of just what they need to be um you can see here that i got all augments on um i got augments placed on all my perks and i'm working on the uh field grades now but um the augment system, the only complaint I have with the augment system is it maybe takes a little longer than it should to get um, these uh, XP things, or if there would be a way for them to allow you to um, do one or two augments at a time to research, because doing one item at a time is kind of annoying a little bit, but it is not nothing that is like triggering that I would want, want this to be a feature in the future. Um, I think this is a feature that they should expand upon in the future, because this is this is pretty cool um in my personal opinion um wonder weapon screen uh, you can see here though there's three wonder weapons currently we have the jet gun ray gun and the beam smasher which is a new uh wonder weapon for this game and for cod zombies um this wonder weapon by the way does kind of look like something out of borderlands me and my guys were talking about this on the stream the other night kind of looks like a borderlands uh gun which is kind of funny um and then these two are obviously um remakes of the classic weapons Obviously, the red gun's been in Call of Duty Zombies for quite a long time, but that, that is there. So let's get into some of the things that I think are ugly about specifically the zombies, since we're on the zombies menu right now. Um, and we're going to talk about the multiple versions, too, in a second. But we're going to talk about the camos. Now, this is something that I didn't think would be as a big of a problem as I thought it would be. Um, I'm currently sitting at 11 gold guns for zombies. I've been taking it. Um, the fastest I possibly can. I know some people out there who have diamond and dark matter for multiplayer and diamond for like zombies and stuff already. Um, to those people I say, um, get some sleep, <laughs> get a shower, eat some food, I don't know, beat your meat or something. Um, because I've been putting in hella hours and I'm still uh, only at 11 gold guns for zombies. And I doubt it. Multiplayer is a little easier, especially if you're not trying on multiplayer because of the SBMM, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but uh, zombies isn't necessarily hard. It's just it's such a time-consuming thing. We'll show my stats here in a second when it comes to like critical kills, and you're gonna see just how many critical kills I have and how it's it's just an insane step. But we're gonna go over one gun in Pacific that is the problem, which is the in my opinion the snipers are going to be the biggest problem. Um, 
I don't know why I did that. I want to do the frost line. Here we go. Um, that is 2,000 critical kills for the snipers in zombies. It is probably the toxic, most toxic challenge, I think, in this game currently. Um, even beats, like, the the multiplayer headshots for, for the snipers because at least then it's only 100 headshots and like sure that's annoying but um if you just hard scope with like an ACOG or something on a small map eventually you'll get them but the the um the overall 2,000 headshots for snipers on zombies just is gonna take fucking ages especially since a lot of these snipers are really not that great they're not terrible by any means but they're also not great um but for multiplayer, for snipers, probably the thing that's going to be my most annoying is probably, like, um, some of the headshot challenges. Uh, but for the most part, I don't think it'll be, be too much of a problem. The other gun that's having, uh, gave me some issues, which I can't show you guys right now, um, but is the, uh, GS-45, because the GS-45 requires 2,000 headshots, just like all the other bullet guns. The problem is, this gun is explosive when pack-punched. Which means you're not actually going to get headshots all that often, if at all, if you're lucky, right? Um, that's a problem, because how am I supposed to get 2,000 headshots if I have to, like, play till around, like, 15 or 20 with a gold tier gun, and then my gun's completely useless because it's not pack punched and it's just rough um, that this pistol is forced to be explosive only. I, I get that it's to make the pistol good, um, and that would be fine, but the explosive rounds aren't even good anyway, because they can be, pa I've had it packed two gold rarity in the, uh, one of the games I played last night, and it was only downing enemies, it wasn't killing them, it was knocking them into crawlers, uh, per shot, and I think that is insane, because I was using another pistol, the, uh, Strider 22, which is what I've been working on, um, it was the last pistol I was working on before I prestiged. Um, this one is a fantastic pistol, uh, pack punched uh, at higher rounds. And same with the Grekohova, which is the one pistol I have gold right now. Um, the Grekohova is amazing at when it's prestiged. Uh, not when it's prestiged, I'm sorry, when it's pack punched. Uh, and so I think that's a huge problem for the GS45 going forward is how in the fuck do I get the headshots on this thing? rapidly right because if i do it with non-pack punch it's going to take me hundreds of games to get those 2,000 headshots so if anyone has any tips or tricks idea down or even ideas down below on how to do the the, the gs45 i'd be totally down to hear them because this pistol is concerning this 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 pistol makes me makes me sad <laughs> very sad but other than that, um, some of the big things that I want to say about the uh, credit class. Now, now, I know a lot of people want to hate on this because it's, it's like Cold War or it's like Warzone. Um, now, as much as I hate Warzone, there has been some benefits like in the zombie scene from Warzone, right? Having the camo grind, having this system, which we're going to explain about in a second with the, 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 the credit class and the loadouts. Um, I don't think these are the negatives. I think these are the positives. Um, especially the gobble gum systems. I really like the gobble gum system this year. They fucking nailed the gobble gums this year. Um, like, just the way they work, how you get them, everything. It's just perfection. Um, but the clear class system, let's go into that. So, the first thing you need to know is that there is no meal cook in this game. You have meal kick at start, right? Because it's two guns for primary and you're guaranteed a melee weapon, right? So, because of that, I am pretty happy. The only thing I miss about having Mule Kick, and I hope that they somehow figure out a way to add it in some form, is the additional mags of ammo. So, like your, so if you get Mule Kick, you get like a 20% or whatever it is, increase your ammo capacity for your, your stockpile. Um, maybe that could be like an upgrade for um, Speed Cola. You know, it might even be a Speed Cola upgrade. I didn't see it, but maybe I just missed it. Um, so, I would like to see them add that in the future. Now, the thing with melees is melees don't feel broken off rip, and the biggest reason for this is you actually don't get as much XP from melee kills at the beginning of the match. You actually do better for headshots. The headshots are the new um, highest XP or highest essence um, reward. But the thing with the um, melee is if you have melee Macarado, which is a new perk, and then you have the, um, the knife pack like one or two, and you have a gold rarity, um, you can be one-shotting enemies with a knife 
all the way up until around like 30 or 40, because um, I was doing it last night. Um, it will two or three shot manglers to around 30 or 40, and you can like take out a, a fucking uh, abomination relatively quickly. Right? It's like within like 15, thir- thir- 15 or 20 uh, knife swings. So that's not terrible for for a knife that round, especially for abominations. So that's awesome. If you're a knifer, you're gonna fucking you're gonna love it. You're gonna just, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have fun with that. The feel of grades are great. The only one I'm not a fan of is a dark flare. I think dark flare is how do I put it kindly? It's useless. Um, in my personal opinion, if you're gonna run a feel grade, frenzy guard, healing aura, the two best energy mines, amazing, and aether shroud. I haven't really touched aether shroud in this game, but um, I have touched it in other games, and it's just one of those feel upgrades that, like, if you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. It's not really a big deal. But this Dark Flare is basically useless. The reason I say it's basically useless is because when, it, when I used it, it doesn't increase your damage. It doesn't make these zombies insta-death with the, with the light laser. And I believe you're still hurt. You can get hurt from using the laser. So it just feels not a good time. But then again, maybe if you get all the um, augments out for it, there might be some way to really make it strong. Um, but I won't know until I get there. But if I do, and when I do, I will make a video for you guys. Gobblegum sex uh, system, you have the five packs. So, um, I'd recommend making an EE pack or an Easter egg pack and then doing a main pack. That's what I use a main pack and Easter egg. Um, the packs at the current moment are pretty good. Um, I've been using up the hell out of my, uh, Gobblegums. I had like three Perkaholics at one point, and I used them for the melee weapon for doing the um, for doing like the the rapid kills because I kept dying because I'm trash. <laughs> and then um, the the whimsical have been hysterical. Uh, I, I was laughing my ass off the other day using the whimsical, and they've now made it onto my main Gobblegum pack because. You know, they're just dope, man. They're just so much fun hearing the zombies fart or how the zombies fly in the air. It's just it's funny and it just lightens the movie. Especially if you're in like a, th- like a two-hour zombies match. It's nice to just have fun, you know, and have laughs. Instead of just being brain rotted the entire time because you've been there for like two hours. So overall, really great. You earn gobblegums randomly throughout the match. Um, every end of every round or every few rounds you get a gobblegum. Um, and I think it's more consistent at the higher rounds you go. But I will say that the the what is it the legendary um ones yeah the legendary and ultra those are quite rare epic and rare are super common um but the ultra and rare legendary ones you can get perkaholics just by playing the game which i do think is is just such a good idea um because it would have sucked there behind paywalls and we do get uh gobble gun packs through proceeding i got one for prestige one um i think it was um so you can get them through uh, proceeding as well and the gobblegum packs seem to give you one of everything if uh if i remember correctly so at least for at least i know for a fact the pack the vault edition pack gave you one of everything it gave me one of uh, ultras one of all the legendaries one of all the epics etc so keep that in mind that's pretty much it with the zombies there's not much more to talk about other than the fact the maps are pretty cool um liberty falls best zombies map for camera grinding on this game right now and I think Terminus is probably going to be the map for the guys Easter egg, do Easter eggs. I've done the Liberty Falls Easter egg twice, uh, but I have not done the Terminus quite yet. But the Terminus is way harder from my, what I've heard. Liberty is relatively easy. You could do that shit solo, probably no problem. So keep that in mind. Multiplayer. Let's talk about multiplayer, man. <sighs> multiplayer, man. Let's all... <sighs> Multiplayer is struggling, man, for me. I really want to like multiplayer. I really do. Um, because Dark Matter is so sick. Um, but it is a sweaty, inconsistent, garbage experience. Uh, and I am so disappointed in this game for just dropping the ball with multiplayer. Um, so, why is it so bad? Well, I think the biggest thing is... The hit detection is awful. Um, this is something I've seen quite a few people talk about online. Um, and I'm happy to see that there's some people mentioning it. Um, some people are going to say that, oh, he's fine, bro. You're just trash. No, it's not fine. You're just a dick rider. Stop dick riding. It's not cool. This game is not perfect. Treyarch's not perfect. Let's, let's just cut the shit. Let's be honest with each other. This game has horrible hit detection. Um, it has horrible map design. 
the time to kill is horrific. I mean, I've seen videos of people hitting um, whole AK mags and then switching to a secondary, shooting this guy, this whole secondary, and then getting turned on and one-shotted. Um, there is serious, serious problems with the firefights in this game. Um, and that is all not even the biggest problem when it comes to this game. And then that second biggest problem, probably not even second, the, the biggest problem in this game is the SBMM and EOMM is so through the roof. Um, the fact that I have less than five hours on the multiplayer and my SBMM is already through the roof um, is a serious problem, right? Because, for example, Modern for 3, Modern for 3, I went an entire preseason and season 1 without having to deal with a sane, multi, um, a sane SBMM, right? Um, now, Dada, I was camel grinding, but I was also doing zombies camel grind as well. And so I was kind of doing the same how I am now I was doing back then. Um, how I did kind of the multiplayer of the zombies first, because that's how I'm kind of doing this year as well. I'm kind of doing the zombies first and then going back and doing the multiplayer. And that is the biggest thing, right? Is like, it, it, I, I wasn't this high on MW3. And I know for a fact it wasn't this high on Modern for 2 as well. Modern for 2, I had even, I think, even two seasons before my SBMN really kicked in. Um, and this game is not like I have a crazy amount of stats, right? Like, I don't have crazy stats. Um, we can look at my stats right here. I don't have crazy stats, man. I, like, I have nowhere near crazy stats. I have a 1.2 KD right now. I have a one win loss, and I have one hour played, right? Like, <laughs> I have my highest streak right now is a 13 kill streak. It is not crazy stats. I should not be fighting cheating-sized, lo cheating-style lobbies with these stats, Okay. I just shouldn't. It just in no universe, right? Now, Prestige One, I had a 6.5 KD, but I played one match when I was in Prestige One. So, you know, keep that in mind, right? Um, I haven't played yet since I Prestiged today. And this is my problem with this game. Why is my SBMM so fucking high in? multiplayer when i have barely even played right i'm seeing dudes dropping nukes already and they are not in the same sbmm bracket as me okay i'm 13 times higher in the bracket than they are and i just don't understand why i'm specifically um being targeted by the sbm so hard and i know there's others out there that have my, my same situation right now that are wanting to play this game so bad but yet at the same time being punished brutally punished by this game for simply wanting to play it and i don't understand what is happening now i know this will get better eventually because when i do the multiplayer grind i'm probably just going to tank my stats completely like get a 0.1 kd style tank when i do rpgs and the melees and the snipers i'm going to do all those three categories first probably then pistols and then probably like the shotguns or something and i'm just going to tank my stats hard as fuck and that's something i normally don't do i don't i don't normally condone um, you know, tanking stats on purpose, um, or basically baiting the game, green, gaslighting the game into thinking I'm trash, and I normally don't condone that, but this year, I feel like if I want to get Dark Matter quite fast for you guys to showcase it, as well as just for myself, and then to have the rest of the year to enjoy the game, I think it's going to have to be that way, unfortunately. So I'll keep you all posted on how this goes. Obviously, I'll be focused on multiplayer. I'm a zombie, sorry, until probably season one. I'm hoping by season one I have Dark uh, Nebula, or I'm close to Nebula. Um, so that way, when season one drops, I can focus on multiplayer during that season one period of time. But that is the multiplayer stats. I wanted to show zombie stats. I just remember that I wanted to show you guys that. Um, so right now we are sitting at um, around 6 million essence earned, 2,200 essence per minute, 49 matches played. I have two days time played. I have 56,000 kills, uh, 232 elites, uh, 1,200 specials, um, 3,100 is my highest kills in one game at the current moment. Uh, 1,200 rounds completed. 19 X fills, uh, 45 is the highest round I've gone to so far, and 45 is also the highest round I've X filled on. 26,000 critical kills, so nearly half, if not over half, of my head uh, kills have been headshots, which is kind of wild. Um, I have 41,000 pack punch kills, 15,000 legendary weapon eliminations, 41,000 pack punch, which I already said that before already. I'm um, sorry, one shot kills, I have 7,700 of. Um, so I'm looking pretty solid when it comes to um, 
stat wise. Uh, here's my boy Hams. Check him out on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV. Sir Hams a lot. Um, he's been who I've been grinding with the most. I've also been grinding with my boy Dark. Uh, Dark. So you guys are watching this. Thank you guys so much for grinding with me, and we're gonna be grinding a whole lot of the next couple of weeks. So I hope you guys are prepared for that. Um, my maps right now. I don't know if it'll load. It does. Uh, so we have 49,000 kills on Liberty and Terminus. We have only around 6,000 kills, but I really haven't played Terminus all that much in all honesty. So um, that's that's kind of why there. But let's go over some of the other stuff in multiplayer that I'm not a fan of uh, and a fan of. So some of the stuff that I'm liking, again, is those Master Calling cards, those 100 percenters. Really liking these challenges. Again, I really haven't done them, but like they look sick, and I'm loving them. Um, it's nice seeing a game where I don't have to look at through 1,000 Calling cards. <laughs> this game only has around 360-something Calling cards at the moment. Um, so I can easily swipe through them um, and look at them. So let's just show you guys my Calling cards. Um, in this video real quick so you guys can kind of get an idea of, of how it looks for me so right here you got the liberty falls easter egg uh, calling card um, this is what you get for completing it early um, you got the, the diamond badge uh, calling card and there's a bunch of cool calling cards in here that you can find uh, i recommend you go through and look at them all i did that last night on stream and it was a super fun time just to go through them um, and look but there's also some uh, cool calling cards you get for doing special things like this one right here you have to get um best play as well as prestige i think a gun on zombies i think it is so that's a pretty cool trolling card um that will be emailed to you uh, once you accomplish it so make sure you check in your emails for that one uh, then we have the campaign calling cards as well so tons of calling cards over there to look at emblems they got tons of emblems here obviously the ones right now are just mainly for prestiging but i'm assuming they'll add more going forward so keep an eye out for those as well when you're playing so I think the biggest problem for for loadouts and stuff for zombies for me is probably the score streaks. I'm really not liking the score streaks this year. The score streaks feel lackluster. I definitely think that I'll be running prominently the Scout Pulse, UAV, and Harp because those are the only three score streaks that actually look like they're fun to use. Um, my experience has not been very pleasurable with the other uh, score streaks, so keep that in mind. Uh, there's no new score streaks this year. These are all just remakes of other streaks that we've had in the past. The Dreadnought is the only so-and-so called new streak, but the Dreadnought is really just a, another AC, version of the AC-130. So it's just an AC-130 with some extra stuff or whatever. So not nothing crazily different. But other than that, those are my feelings and opinions on the Black Ops 6 so far. How do I think they could fix some things? I think they could just listen to the community. Um, but obviously the community is kind of blocked, kind of blind and self-centered and kind of dicky. Um, so sometimes listening to them is not always the greatest idea. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, listening to the community is a great thing. Um, my personal opinion is something they need to fix is reduce the SPMM, reduce the AOM, or just remove it all together, which I know they won't, but reduce it at least. Uh, fix the time to kill, make it a little faster, uh, a little more consistent. Uh, make hit detection consistent for fuck's sake, please. I would like to shoot somebody and actually kill them. Um, and this is not just a multiplayer problem. I've seen this on zombies. I was having this issue with knives last night on zombies, so please fix it. Um, make XP a little easier to get. I, I feel like I'm leveling up so slow. Um, the fact that it took me like five days to get level 55 and prestige and get to level 55 again, it's kind of rough. Um, I definitely feel like I could have leveled up faster in the past Call of Duty's with prestiges. Um, the other thing is maybe check the game. Um, I've been having this issue where in zombies I'll freeze randomly and it won't just crash me like a hard freeze and the only way for me to unfreeze is to close my game basically force crash it. I've lost two streams because of this so please Jarek fix it I beg of you please. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We have Nuketown coming out on Friday, uh, the November 1st. So we'll be having gameplay of that up when it comes out, showcasing it. Um, I'll have multiplayer gameplay coming soon. And then we have obviously all the zombies content coming soon. I'm going to start um, I'm gonna start recording videos, earning gold guns going forward. Um, now that I can actually save gameplays because I'm done with the campaign. So you should start seeing clips of um, earning gold on guns. So... Keep that in mind, and without further ado, thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm excited for BO6 content going forward, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good year, even if multiplayer is rough. 
We have zombies, and then we have the Warzone Mastery Run. So, we have lots of stuff going forward, uh, and I'm excited to play this game. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.